Hey fellow vegans, it's Florian here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can lose your weight on a vegan diet. Now, I've been in the fitness industry for now nearly six years, been vegan for the same amount of time, six years, and spent over $32,800 on my health and fitness education. Today, I want to show you how you can lose your weight on a vegan diet in an effective, fast, and sustainable way. Now, it doesn't mean it will be easy, but it can be way simpler than what you're doing right now. So if you just give me a couple of minutes of your time, I'm going to explain to you exactly the mistakes that I did in the past, the, some of the mistakes that I see in some of my clients, and how you can avoid them when it comes to your weight loss journey. So you probably shave years of your learning curve. Are you ready? Let's jump right into it. The first point is the truth about tracking. Are you serious about losing your weight? That's awesome. Now measure your efforts. I see so many people, now this included me in the past, that don't pay attention to their weight. They don't pay attention to what they're doing and if what they're doing is working. Too many people don't step on the weighing scale out of fear. And this is a recipe for disaster. If you're right now on a diet and you're still afraid of stepping on the weighing scale, then sorry, but I need to bring this down to you. Your diet is clearly not working. If your diet would be working, you would be looking forward to step on the weighing scale every single day. Why? Because you would be losing effectively and predictably about one to two pounds of fat every single week. So if you don't step on the weighing scale right now and your goal is to lose weight, it's literally like you're trying to build your net worth, but you never really check your bank balance. It doesn't make sense. It's a recipe for disaster. And trust me, I've made this mistake in the past. It cost me a lot of time. So if there's a simple action step that you can do here is to step on the weighing scale daily and then write it down on a book, on an Excel sheet or in an app, whatever works for you. The second point is the little secret about calories. Now, if you're currently not losing weight, no matter what you try, there's one common denominator in the likelihood of 99%. It is that you're not in a caloric deficit. Calories and being in a caloric deficit has a direct influence over how much weight you're going to lose. I repeat this again, direct influence. And I've noticed this in my own weight loss journey. Like right now, like I think about seven or so years ago was the first time I ever tried to lose weight. <laughs> and I tried everything. I tried high intensity interval training. I tried fasting. I tried keto, which nearly killed me because I was eating zero grams of carbohydrates a uh, day didn't work out at all. Like the only time it ever worked is when I was really serious about tracking my calories. I remember it was around this time when I went vegan, I started also tracking my calories. And after three months of being vegan was the first time I ever saw a six pack in my life. For the first time, this was my goal since I was like 15 or so. It is really that simple. If you want to lose your weight, you need to master your calories. Is it easy? No, it's quite hard. But if, if there's one thing you need to master for losing your weight effectively, predictably, and sustainably, it is your calories. So track your calories daily for at least one, two, three weeks until you see a pattern in, your, in your, what you're eating on a daily basis. You should be aiming to be in a daily caloric deficit of about 500 to 1000, depending on how much weight you would like to lose. Now, obviously, if you would like to lose like very little amount of weight, then you can also go below those 500 uh, calories it also depends on you individually, but make sure you're in a caloric deficit. The third secret when it comes to losing weight on a vegan diet is the facts about mindset. See, food is both fuel and entertainment. Eating food is fun. It gives us a lot of comfort. However, the more you see the food that you're eating on a daily basis as fuel instead of entertainment or momentary comfort, the better your food choices will be. Now, I remember because I did this mistake in my past. I remember like a couple of years ago, I was eating Big Macs on a daily basis. I was going uh, to McDonald's every single, like almost every single lunch, like between school. Uh, it, was, it was horrible. I was eating donuts for breakfast. It was really not good. To right now, I'm seeing food almost 100% as fuel. I'm only eating like food that like I know that makes me better increases my strength, like it's aligned with my goals, both when it comes to work and both when it comes, and also when it comes to achieving my fitness goals. So the more you see the food that you're eating on a daily basis as fuel instead of entertainment, the more, the higher the likelihood that you're gonna achieve your goals. So action step for this is very simple. Go to your fridge, look, look at the food that you're eating on a daily basis. 
Is it entertainment or is it fuel? And what can you do to, make, to change this ratio to have more fuel, foods that have like fuel in there instead of uh, entertainment? Conclusion, your weight is not set in stone. You can change and you can do so quite effectively and predictably. Okay, so you need to make sure that you measure your progress. You need to master your calories and you need to see your food more as fuel instead of entertainment. Once you have those three things dialed in, it's quite easy to lose your weight about one to two pounds per week, predictably and sustainably. Vegan weight loss is not magic, it's cause and effect.